assemblage, King Stephen. I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You weren't wanted. Not what? Oh. oh dear, what an awkward situation. I had hoped it was merely due to some oversight. Well, in that event, I too shall bestow a gift on the child. Listen well, all of you. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all who know her. But before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Oh, no. <laughs> Seize that creature. Stand back, you fools. Spare your majesties. Meriwether still has her gift to give. Then she can undo this fearful curse? Oh, no, sire. Maleficent's powers are far too great. But she can help. Sweet princess, if through this wicked witch's trick a spindle should your finger prick, a ray of hope there still may be in this, the gift I give to thee. Not in death, but just in sleep, the fateful prophecy you'll keep. And from this slumber you shall wake, when true love's kiss, the spell shall break. But King Stephen was still fearful for his daughter's life. This does not take away the evil threat. We must take action. Let every spindle and spinning wheel in the country be burned. That night, the countryside was aglow with the light of burning spinning wheels. 